Hi ladies, I am finally back. I've been so busy painting silicones and um, doing pouring the silicones, but I'm finally back and here you see Miss Rainbow Sculpt. She is finally done. And I'm sorry the lighting's a little messed up because the sunshine is in front of her across on the other side of the window, but it's not very sunny. So she has a light behind her, but I will get plenty more videos with her because she's a cutie patootie. So here she is. She is complete, all matted and done. And here she has dark newborn blue eyes. And again, this is the um, Rainbow Sculpt by Irie Artborn Gallery. Chantel Bagus, she sculpted her and poured her and I painted her. So here she is. And I don't think I'm going to keep her name Rainbow. I think I may um, call her Fauna or Fawn because she has those big eyes that remind me of a fawn. So here she is. And I kept her in her diaper so you could see all her details. There's her belly button. And her she has heavy modeling. I gave her heavy modeling because I just thought that was a nice look for her. And there's her chest. So she's even got it on her nose and her cheeks. Heavy modeling. Here's her little hand, and her matting came out pretty good. There's a few spots I found, like, that um, are shiny, but since she's going to be mine for a good while, I'm just going to keep her like that, and I'll pro probably um, remat those spots when I finish up Sunshine. And here's one of her legs. It's her toesies. Her upper toesies. And her knee. And she's in a newborn diaper. It's a little big, but she can wear it. I think she may wear a preemie, so I'm going to um, get some preemie diapers for her because her sister Sunshine will need the preemie diapers too because I think she, ooh, she got fuzz on her because she's even a tad bit smaller in some ways than um, Rainbow here or Fauna. So tell me if you think that's a good name for her, Fauna or Fawn. I kind of like that. I already have a little Fawn, so I might just name her Fauna. But well, you could give me name suggestions of what you think she looks like. And she has a little hat on with a big old bow on it. So I hope you like her. She was, took me a good while to paint. I'm going to pick her head up so you can see. She's real flexible. She's Echo Flex 20. So there she is. She got that one leg stretched out. And she bends her other leg. I think that's so cute. So there's a little pretty girl. She's finally done. And she's bald. I will be making more videos of her, but I wanted to show you with her diaper on so you could see all her modeling and her skin tones. But I will get a better video in my bedroom, which the lighting is better in there sometimes. But this is where I work on my dolls, um, sometimes, at least the silicones. I work on them in here at this big desk. So I was here, and I'm going to show you the other stuff I've been working on like crazy. I poured um, my first Irie sculpt doll and Irie the Irie mold was created by um Irie Artborn Gallery Chantal Bagus and now I have the mold and she's given me all rights to pour that mold so I will show you he definitely or she it depends on I think the baby was created as a girl but I think it looks more like a boy but anyway did not come out perfect but here is her head her head came out near perfect which i'm very pleased with she has a very deep open mouth and there's her eyes and this is straight out of the mold see she has a little boo-boo a bubble on the bottom of that ear and one on the bottom of that ear but i can fix that so i was very pleased that her head came out she's very her head's very heavy her head came out um very nice those are the only boo-boos was those two um bubbles on one on each ear and you're not going to believe how deep her mouth is. It is so deep. She takes a full passy. It's very deep. And now onto her limbs. Now her limbs came out not so great. I'm hoping I possibly can repair them. Here's this one. I was so excited when I pulled it out. Because look, the feet are perfect. Her little toes and her wrinkles came out. But look at the back. It was a huge bubble right here on her calf and her back of her heel. As you can see. So that did not part did not come out good. And it's possible I could repair her possibly, but you know, we'll see about that. This leg came out almost perfect. 
The only problem is she had appeared to have a bubble on her big toe here. And it made it a little bit messed up, but I can fix that too. Now onto her arms. Her arms had some serious problems. Because this is near impossible to fix because I don't have um, fingers replaced. But see this hand came out great. Her arm came out good. But you see in that pointer finger, that was a problem finger, but that one actually came out good. You see these two fingers right here? And um, there was bubbles. That looks like bubbles. They didn't completely fill even on the, in the silicone or the mold. So those two fingers are messed up. And this is the worst one of them all. Arm came out good. Everything came out good. And look at the fingers. She totally lost all these fingers. And what I'm hoping I might do is bend this. Pin it down and make it a fist if possible or something like that. I'm going to try to do that. And the color... It's a little bit off because it's it's a little bit too peachy, but it's okay. That can be um, corrected with paint and stuff. And like I said, this is my first pour, so I am a little disappointed in the limbs, how they came out. But um, I think that the legs possibly can be repaired. I'm not so sure about the arms, but the face, the head came out beautiful. I'm excited about that. So I guess I'm just going to have to keep practicing and trying. But there she is, Irie. And exciting though, I did come out with some little tiny ones. I call them tiny ones. And I ordered these molds off the um, eBay. And they came out almost perfect. Let me give you one of the... One, of, one set of them came out messed up. But the other two sets came out perfect. See, it's, these are little shelf babies. Little sleeping babies. And he's a big one. He's four inches. His big butt sticking up. And I will be painting these up to sell, and they will be very affordable. And see, he's flat on the bottom, so he's a shelf baby, but he's really cute. Whoops. And I'll be painting these to sell them. Because what I'm going to try to do is just get more money for silicone so I can practice. And I can get eventually get this big baby mold, the Irie, get it correct. There's his little feet, and it's tiny. It's really cute. I'm really excited that these molds come out really well. Um, they're tiny little molds, so I've got three of him right now. And one of them came out messed up. The one in the front here, <laughs> look at his face. Had a big bubble, looks like, in his face. That one came out not so good. But I can repair these. I won't be too hard to repair. So I have three of these big ones. This is the second size, and these are adorable. Everybody's been saying, my friends have been saying how cute they are. This is a little sleeping little baby bunny with a little baby dressed as a bunny and she has a or he has a um like a crocheted hat bunny ears and a little bottom with her tail and look how pretty she is and she's sleeping like on a pillow all these will be for sale like i said two two sets of these came out perfect one has some issues but they can be repaired and then here's the tiniest tiniest ones these little ones. Most of them came out pretty good. I don't really care for them as much as, here's the tiny, the feet. This is the bigger, um, tiny babies. She's, I think these ones are about an inch and a half, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some silicone wings and add them to them, do some different things with these little tiny ones. And all these will be for sale. So if you're interested in any of these tiny ones, please let me know. Because they're all going to be for sale. And I'm going to fix the two little booby -boo ones. Or, if, you know, or I may sell them like that for Halloween coming up. But if not, then I'm going to you know, I'm going to fix them up. So there, uh, I got excited about these because these came out perfect. Most of these came out perfect over here. So let me know if you're interested in any of these. This is the biggest one. He's four inches. So it could be boy or girl. And I will paint them and they will come... Um, they will come like they are, naked, maybe a little blanket or maybe a little accessory with them. But this is how they're meant to be, and they're, they stay on their bellies. Little shelf baby, they call them. They'll look nice on a little shelf. And I'll paint them. So if you're interested in these, let me know. And right now, people are really liking the little bunny. So I have ordered, uh, like these tiny babies here, I have ordered 
um, one mermaid and it will be about this size but it's without the mat or the pillow a mermaid little girl baby with long hair and I also um, am going to be ordering another baby very similar to this but it's not going to be a bunny it's just going to have the little diaper and the little hat it's not going to have the bunny tail on it so those will be available soon and I will get you pricing on these little ones I call them the littles so please let me know if you're interested in any of these littles and thank you all for supporting me and being excited about my pouring like I said I'm excited the head came out really well and some of the limbs are repairable so hopefully I can repair them and she's a big baby she's probably about zero to three months she's chunky or a large very large newborn so there's there he is diary sculpt and I'm very excited her head came out so well and here is the rainbow sculpt and I think like I said I may name her fauna so please let me know about her name suggestion for her and I think I may end up keeping her for a good while I may keep her permanently I'm not positive yet because I'm kind of falling in love with her and I would like her to stay with sunshine I am keeping sunshine for sure so little fauna says goodbye and she hopes to see you soon in another video I appreciate each and every one of you I will be back soon talking about the reborn dog giveaway again I am working on her slowly but surely so I'll be back with that, and I appreciate all of you. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. You're in my thoughts and prayers. Please stay safe and have a wonderful afternoon. Talk to you soon.